Hi again, it's Stephanie Cook from Couples Counseling ATL. A while back, a couple came into my office, their faces etched with worry. They were separating, but they had two young children in the picture and the road ahead felt daunting. They wondered, how can we navigate this without hurting our kids? It's a question many couples grapple with during separation. While studies show that roughly 50% of marriages in the U.S. end in divorce, and this is according to the American Psychological Association, the impact on children can be significant. However, research also indicates that children fare better when parents can cooperate and maintain a healthy co-parenting relationship even after separation. And that's according to the Journal of Family Psychology. So this brings us to the heart of this talk, how to navigate separation while prioritizing your children's well-being. It's a challenging journey, but with the right strategies and support, it's entirely possible to create a positive co-parenting environment. First and foremost, you need to prioritize open and honest communication with your children. Of course, being age appropriate and giving them explanations that they can understand about the separation, this doing so can help them to understand the situation and reduce their fears and anxiety. Reassuring them that this separation is not in any way their fault and that there's nothing that they could have done or said that would have changed this. And also to let them know that both of their parents love them unconditionally is also very important. Next, you need to establish clear boundaries and expectations. While it's natural to feel hurt or angry, avoid involving your children in adult conflict. Don't badmouth the other parent. Keep conversations about your ex-partner neutral and respectful, especially in front of your kids. I can't say it enough. And consistency in routines, discipline, and parenting styles, if possible, you know, this is ideal. It can also provide a much needed stability for your children during this transition. So ideally, you both agree on these things. But more often than not, you don't, and you may need some help from a therapist or a mediator to help you to get on the same page as much as possible. One aspect that often gets overlooked is the importance of self-care for both parents. Separation, you know, and this is an understatement, can be emotionally draining. And neglecting your own well-being can hinder your ability to co-parent effectively. Prioritizing your sleep, exercise, healthy eating, and activities that bring you joy will be critical during this time. Don't hesitate to seek support from friends, family, or a therapist to process your emotions and navigate this challenging period. If you're doing as best you can, that will trickle down to your children. Co-parenting does not have to be a battleground. It's about putting your children's needs first and working collaboratively to provide them with a loving and supportive environment. Remember, you're not just your ex-partner, you're co-parents for life. And if you're struggling to navigate separation and co-parenting, remember that you're not alone. Either someone at our team at Couples Counseling ATL can help you, or we can help you to find someone in the community who can help you. And if you need individual therapy to process your emotions, or even couples therapy to establish healthy co-parenting strategies, we can help. Visit counselingatl.com to book your first session or schedule a free 20-minute video call with a therapist of your choice. We'd love to walk with you on this journey and help you build positive co-parenting relationships that will benefit your children and yourselves.